Alrighty ho guys, it is cheat day! <laughs> so it's like 6.55, my alarm is about to go off, but I have been awake since 4.30. Mm. I've had a cold, so um, I've been taking NyQuil every night, except I didn't last night because we got home really late. And I think that was a mistake because I woke up at 4.30 and couldn't go back to sleep. So, it's going to be a long day. Ugh. Side note, I have the best boyfriend in the world. He set an alarm for 6.30 so he could go get me donuts. <laughs> so, I'm just waiting for Matt to get back with my donuts. Ugh. Yay, cheat day. Hey guys, so um, I realized I ended my week six uh, check-in without actually weighing in. So it's 7 a.m. on cheat day, and I'm going to go weigh in so we have like a final number for our first six-week go-around with weight loss. So um, my parents are actually staying with me, so they're in my room asleep, so we're going to be really quiet and sneak in and use the scale. Okay guys, so I just weighed in. Um, that will be in my week six update. This will come after, so you'll have already seen that, but I was 128.3 and now we'll begin cheat day. And the actual, like, I guess the official weigh-in for the next section will be tomorrow. So we'll see how much I fluctuate and wait from this morning till tomorrow morning. <laughs> uh, I hope it's not too bad. I am going to go to the gym today. But um, first things first, ice cream. Oh, God. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Two different kinds. <sighs> Hold on. Okay. I think we need some light. It's a bit too dark in here. Mm -hmm. It's all bright. Okay, well. We have peanut butter. Chocolate Candy Crunch, aka Butterfinger, and Cookie Butter. Heck yeah. Okay. Oh my god. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm always going to love sugar. This is the longest I've ever gone without sugar, and I still want it, so whatever. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to have a little bit more, and then wait for Matt to get here with the donuts. Update. <clears throat> I forgot I have more candy in the house. Oh my God, don't mind my sick voice. <clears throat> so while I'm still waiting for Matt, I'm gonna have candy. <clears throat> Cause I got chocolates for Valentine's day. <laughs> now the question is, which piece is the right piece? You never know what's gonna be inside these, right? That wasn't it. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. That's the one. Caramel. 
Is it too late to eat candy from Christmas? I don't think so. Okay, current standing. I have had five spoonfuls of ice cream. I've had three bites of chocolate and one of these guys. So, <clears throat> I'm seeing that there's Doritos here that my dad got. I'm thinking Doritos. Yeah? Doritos and chocolate? Oh my god, I'm really wondering when this stomach ache is gonna set in. Maybe like five chips. Let's do five chips. Okay, so it's not even five full chips. This is the only full one, but then the rest are just like little broken bits. So that's fair, right? Five chips? So part of me is wondering if I should do an apple cider vinegar shot just to help my digestion today because I know for sure I'm going to be miserable in a couple of hours. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that just to be safe, maybe help it. I don't know if it'll help at all, but it's worth a go, right? I also have my acid reflux meds on hand today because I'm actually quite nervous about that too, so. Okay, apple cider vinegar shot. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna chase with orange juice. Oh my god, Matt's home with donuts. <laughs> We're deep in. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> I've had... <laughs> Five spoons of ice cream. Oh, you got so many. <laughs> well, I, would, I figured getting donuts might as well get some for your parents. Ooh, that's my maple one right there. Your little maple. That's the only one I care about. And so, Walmart didn't have double chocolate chip. Oh, I meant to tell you it wasn't a big deal. Double chocolate chip, so I got that. Oh my goodness, you didn't have to go everywhere. I, uh, didn't, I just figured if they had it. I, I, yeah, Thank no. you. Mm, 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 mm. There's a bacon. I was going to ask for one of these that I forgot. <laughs> ah, I can read my mind. That's a special thing. It's a special thing. I forgot to drink my Oh, you found the big one. I thought you were going to have to get the little pack of them. I haven't been able to find these anywhere. Where'd you find it? They're always at the front of the store. No, they're not. Always. No, uh. I've looked at so many places. You just have to keep walking through the aisles until you find mm. it. That's crazy. My favorite, well, one of my favorites, it's Top Dog right now. Oh, it's filled. Son of a bitch. They f***ed me. There was only one. It's, where do you mean it's filled? Oh, it is filled. It's really good, and I hate filling. <laughs> It. Okay, well, <laughs> it's not gonna slow me down. Well, you still get the edge pieces. Well, regular old maple edge pieces. Mm. Okay, screw it. I'm eating an entire donut. You should probably slow yourself. Well, it's good you got me this. There's a lot of sugar going on so far. See that. Look what's been hiding in our pantry for a week. Apparently Matt got these for me a week ago in preparation and hid them. I'm very sneaky. I don't know how you didn't see them when you were getting into your chocolates. They were right next to your chocolates. I was just, I knew where the chocolates were. I grabbed the chocolate. If I'm unaware of other things, I won't notice them. <laughs> All right, one donut down. Ooh, I can feel the sugary is happening in my stomach. Okay. 
I think I want to save this for later. Got cookies. Yeah, okay, we're going to go with breakfast sandwich because that seems like the best choice because we need something that's not sugar. Okay, I'm going to do two bites of the egg and then I'm going to take it off because I'm not ready to like actually mess around with eggs yet. Um, if you're new to my channel, I am allergic to eggs currently. I'm trying to fix it. Um, I got allergic to eggs like six, seven years ago. Um, it's been getting worse ever since then. But during all my like gut health research, apparently if you have like leaky gut, it can cause you to have allergies to foods. So in my mind, I like with all this like super clean eating I've been doing and like the prebiotics and probiotics and all the like, care I've been giving to my stomach, I'm hoping that maybe in another six weeks or you know, another six weeks after that, um, my egg issue will be gone. But that might just be wishful thinking. I'm not a doctor. I don't know how allergies work, so. But I figure if it can, like, just blow into my life in my 20s, I can make it go away. But, anyway, two bites aren't going to hurt me, so. Uh. <laughs> so good. Okay, so, I think it's fair to say that it's time to take a break <clears throat> and drink an entire glass of water and just let things settle because it's only now... <laughs> 7.30, so in 30 minutes, I've done a significant amount of damage, so, um, break time. Update. Instead of going to the gym, I took a nap, because as soon as it was time to go to the gym, my body was like, hey, um, remember that time when you woke up at 4.30 and didn't go back to sleep? Uh, go back to sleep now. So, I took an hour long nap, and, uh, now I have no time to go to the gym, so that's... Not exactly what I was planning, but we have moved on. I finished the other um, half of my little caramel chocolate cube, and now I'm on to the gummy bears. I'm trying to think what I want to do next. Hmm. Let me think about it. And maybe just a chocolate strawberry. Mmm. Yeah, fruit's not a part of the day. What am I doing? I almost forgot to update you, so I cracked open my Coca-Cola in the car. It's still in there, but I have another one at lunch. We're at the Cheesecake Factory. I'm having a piece of bread. I'm also going to have a little bit of fettuccine Alfredo and a mac and cheese cheeseburger. Yes. Okay, so since lunch, I went home and I had half of my York peppermint patty, and I think that's the only thing that I've eaten. And I went to the aquarium, and now I'm having my first alcoholic beverage of tea day. Look at it. It's lime green. What does it have in it? It's uh, coconut rum, pineapple, orange, and banana liqueur. That's tropical. Oh, it's such a cool color. So my dad's torturing my cat. Don't mind that. Anyway, I just want to make sure I documented I had another glazed donut just now um, while I am getting my cookies ready. Cookies, pre-dinner cookies. Two pre-dinner cookies. Just two. And a half glass of milk. I almost forgot. We got cheese curds. So here's the final cheese curd. And also, I'm drinking a Guinness. So, <laughs> Steel's last cheese curd. How dare you, boy. Ah, quality content right there. Yeah, YouTube really wants to see you eat and chew your food. Cheat day. Need to get in here. Move back to improve focus. Don't tell me what to do. Also, spin dip. 
Okay, we've changed locations. I now have myself a blue moon with a little orange. See, it's healthy. It has a little fruit in it. Yeah. Starting out... Benjamin! <laughs> Starting out with a gigantic... Hand size... Benjamin! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to smack you, boy. <laughs> Starting out with a gigantic hand-sized pizza. I think this might be it. No, I'm going to have another one. <laughs> okay, guys. It is the end of cheat day. I'm feeling very thick. Very thick. So I had a second piece of pizza at Grimaldi's. Um, that was the only extra thing because you saw my beer. You saw the first piece. Had a second piece. Got home had another cookie and then I did my apple cider vinegar shot that's my fourth one of the day it's been the only thing that's been making me feel better I don't know if I mentioned that earlier but I took my fourth one for the night to finish this digestion um I finally I think I finished most of that coca-cola I've been working on all day slowly nursing it down um and then this is the last thing my final half of my york peppermint patty and that is going to be it for the day. So let's run a tally over the screen of everything that I consumed today, starting now. <sighs> Holy freaking moly. It was a big day. It was a big day! And tomorrow we will see that the uh, consequences of my action. <laughs> So the deal is I'm going to go to the gym in the morning and then I will weigh myself. So we'll see exactly what happened in one day of massive trash eating and that will be that. So stay tuned for tomorrow morning and I will let you know what happened. Okay, good night. Hi guys. So it is the next morning after cheat day. I don't feel so great. So, I don't remember exactly how I ended the night, but what I did decide to do before I went to bed was drink a big glass of water. I thought that it would help my digestion. I need to be hydrated because I had two beers, and I just thought it was a good idea. Um, it wasn't. So, my stomach was so full from the day that when I drank the water, it just like stuck right up here at the top of my stomach like if you had touched the top of my stomach it was like hard like there was so much in there I was so uncomfortable and I was just like I was completely miserable so that made for a rough evening um so I don't feel great today but without uh being too gross Digestion is happening this morning, so uh, I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, I don't know. I just feel gross. So uh, what I decided to do, I think either last night or this morning, was I'm going to do a 20-hour fast. So I think the last thing I ate was around like 8.30 or 9. So I'll eat tonight around, does that mean 9, 8, 7? So I'll probably eat around like five or six tonight and just have like a light dinner, depending on how I feel. Um, I think I should eat something today, but like I just need to clear out my system. I don't feel good. <laughs> so I am heading to the gym right now. Um, hopefully that goes okay. I want to do, I want to go around twice at the gym, so work out for a full hour. I was thinking of going around three times, but I think my body might not be interested in that third time around, so we'll just see how it goes. And, uh, then we will do our official <laughs> Monday morning weigh-in, and we will start the beginning of our week six extravaganza. Alrighty guys, so we are closing cheat day with a weigh-in. What was I yesterday morning? 128.3? Oh, <laughs> waited too long. Hold on. Hello. This is also the beginning of week seven weigh-in. So, let's just see what the consequences of a cheat day look like. 
Ooh, 130.2. So we gained about two pounds, probably in food. My fat went up a little bit. I don't remember the rest of it, but I'm pretty sure I was 123 point something for fat, so. This is gonna be interesting because I'm curious how quickly my body's gonna snap back from cheat day. It will be an interesting week. All right, so I think I changed my mind about fasting for 20 hours. I'm starting to feel hungry again, so I'm just gonna go with it. It's 12.30 p.m. So it's already when I would eat my lunch normally. So I think we're just going to have a regular day of eating and call it good and just see how my body bounces back. So that's that. guys so I just wanted to do a little weigh-in update for you it is Thursday morning I'm about to go to the gym and this is for um, week seven and cheat day recovery so <clears throat> this little clip will probably be in two videos but um my scale it's been so weird so now I'm questioning all my recent weigh-ins because the numbers keep changing so far this morning I've gotten a 129.3 I've gotten a 128.4 I've gotten a 131.2 and it's all been within 30 minutes, so I don't know what's wrong with my scale. I don't know what it's doing. So it's making me question everything, because usually when it fluctuates, I just like step on a couple more times to confirm the number. But with the 128 number and the 129 point number, it's like repetitively showing itself. So now I don't understand what the hell that's about. So um, I think I need to find my scale in a permanent location so that I stop moving it, because I feel like every time I move it, it just like confuses the sensors. So I'm thinking that I kind of have an okay spot. It's actually really inconvenient in the bathroom. So I don't know. But <clears throat> I stepped on it like four or five times in different spots, and now I'm getting like a consistent number. So we're just going to assume that's the right one and hope for the best, because also the number that came in is <clears throat> the consistent one is. 128.2. So that would mean that we're back on track. So I'll just keep that in mind. Assume that it took four days to recover from cheat day. And we'll take this as the actual number. And then if something weird pops up tomorrow, then we'll go from there. So let's weigh in. Oh, 128.5 now. Is my phone really making me weigh more? Oh my gosh, the drama. Okay, now I give up because now the scale's saying 128.5 with or without my phone. So, and I moved locations and weighed myself again and it's still saying 128.5. So who the hell actually knows what my scale thinks I weigh? So at this point, I'm like, ready to get a new scale because that's absolutely ridiculous ridiculous so oh. okay so we're either back on track or we're almost back on track so hopefully tomorrow we are 128.2 we'll see stupid scale